from Madani using Kenyan influencers. I was there for actually seven good hours. And off we go to my final destination. To advocate Ndegwa Njiru special message. Inchi iko na shida. Watu iko na shida. Watu iko na shida sana inchi iko na shida. Do you regret as a voter? Me I voted for you but I'm not regretting bana. I'm now regretting this. American rapper 50 Cent in Kenya. 12 years ago Octopuzo hosted 50 Cent in Kibera. Wanted to see the fight again. Angukana. We are coming for you. Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome back to Show New Trend. I'm your host of today and my name is Elvis Derry. Did you know that Adani Group is not even paying but using Kenyan influencers and giving them free trips to go to India to showcase the Adani Group good work? Did you know that? Take a look at this video of this propaganda video of, uh, of Nairobi who was taken to India to spread propaganda. It's time to pack my bags again and head out and see the world. This destination is something you won't see coming. It's the most unexpected destination. In Doha, I had a fun time. I was there for actually seven good hours. And off we go to my final destination. Let me tell you guys, immediately I landed. I didn't expect that I'll be picked up from the doorstep of the plane. Everything I thought I knew about this country started to fade away. We are in Mumbai. Hey guys, I haven't told you. Uh, I think I hadn't mentioned that I'm actually coming to India and uh, yes we are here so let's come and um, wait for my bags hello, hello. how are you Fine. so we'll be waiting for my bags here <sighs> I'm so ready to explore Mumbai what's good India I'm so excited do you regret voting for the current regime take a look at this Kenyan man who is very disappointed on voting for the current president. Game me anza sasa, game me anza. Senate me impeach gachagua. Game me anza. Eh, game me anza. Uzi 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 dara uzi uzi dani uko save Mr. President. Eh, Ruto, usoni uko save. Me I voted for you but I'm now regretting bana. I'm now regretting this. Huh? Once eh, once 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 reigns once reigns is over and I'm going to become a burden to everyone. Ni sawa. And I stand with you. Huh? My friend, no problem. Huh? Karma is lead. Is, is, karma is a bitch. So if you regret like this man, tell us in the comments down below why do you regret voting for William Ruto? Me, I voted for you, but I'm not regretting Bana. I'm now regretting this. It is only a few years to Kenyan elections, 2027. And currently Kenyans are tired. And it seems like they will be sending so many politicians parking so many politicians will be going back home take a look at this video of this member of parliament lecturing kimani ichungwa and his team Mashimua ichungwa and your team i want to tell you for free you will never see power again after ruto goes home mutakuwa mukionea huo uongozi na power kwa view sasa The government of the day, you are killing devolution. No wonder President William Ruto, you voted no to river referendum. You didn't want this country to be devolved. That's why we have gotten to power. The county governments cannot get money for development, for trust, for the people in Kenya. We demand the 
Evolution is here to stay and must be protected. It's not a favor and money being released to all the 47 counties for Kenyans to get service. We want, we don't want your shenanigans of impeachment so that we can forget about Adani Group, we can forget about uh, not sending money to the counties, we can forget you are not employing teachers, you are just there to make, to make sure that Kenyans are oppressed and oppressed and oppressed. We want to say this. 2027. Freedom is coming tomorrow. Wajinu wakioni. Nikipita habo, mtakuwa ime kukosea. India Secretary General. So apart from Kimani Ichungwa, which other politician would you like to go home? Wajinu Ichungwa and your team, I want to tell you for free, you will never see power again after Ruto goes home. As you all know, Israel has committed war crimes. And did you know that the former Prime Minister of Kenya, Raila Odinga, is being protected by Israelis? Listen to this. Africa. Yes. Raila Lachizanga Mchezo. Raila never wants to be the president. Raila yeah, Lachizanga okay. Mchezo, ndi wakule inje kuliko ndani. Kenda zote rapata. <laughs> Na hawajibiki. Mi have worked as me, I know. Mimi niliona wale maizraeli watatu ambali kuja hapa Supreme Court. Because they working in me. Ambali kuja kuni kuchocheza with my judges. Niliende AIC Kibira Church. Kuambia Raila. Kina mdomo bagi wali nifukuza. Nika kuja nikaambia by Daisha Kusit na cheki nilelea. Raila's security guard has been trained in Israel. What? Why? Why will Israel protect you if you are an enemy? Lakini sina zeme kana ya yule... Nani? Sitake ya ma mkutu waki. Yule mina wanga Israel. They don't come. Uh, no, but but why why is right? I, I don't know other countries which can provide security. <laughs> why is right? Why? You guys, you don't know what is going on. But the story of uh, security from Israel, uh, in the last national prayer breakfast, there's a rabbi that I know. He's called Rabbi Netanyel. He's married to one of the Israeli envoys, and he's a former military personnel. And he was supposed to lead the prayers for the Jews at the national prayer breakfast. I walked up to the knee to the knees uh, to the director of Mr. Oven and I told him this cannot be allowed. A guy who is killing children and women cannot lead our prayers. But in Zuri Alichelewa, Kama Sivo Kungekwa na Nim Moja Kuba Sana. No, I was ready to go. go Bosam, me too. I would have been there. I, I would have need in front of Ruto. Me stuck with you. Yeah, bravo. Just because that you, you do today you are a rabbi. Who told you you are a mm -hmm. rabbi? You don't, you don't have other rabbis. Why is it that by coincidence he's an Israeli envoy, he's married to an Israeli envoy? What a coincidence. And he's a, he's a military personnel. And then Kenya does not have Jews, so why should he be allowed to pray? A Kenyan political analyst, Haman Manyora, explains to us on why some Kenyan politicians have destroyed their careers. And why is that? Some of them took part in, in impeaching the former deputy president, Rigadi Gashagwa. Just listen to this. The impeachment was childish. So let's not talk about anybody. Even the senators trying to bring out the support, they were at the pains and they looked stupid and they knew it. They looked so bad, especially intelligent people. When God has given you a brain, I keep telling my, even my students, when God has given you a brain, you have to be very careful. The moment you are engaged in something, you are even ashamed yourself. You feel stupid. That's what it was coming out. So they, you cannot say there was anything Sifuna was defending or explaining. There was nothing to defend. There was nothing to explain. Mm. I better keep quiet and even walk out of that chamber, chamber than open my mouth and make a fool of myself. But why am I singling out Sifuna and uh, Otienda Molo? Otienda Molo has a small ground in Nyanza, a very tiny ground in Rarieda where he's unmatched. But within the wider space of Luo Nyanza, he's nothing. Mm. They are heavyweights. Sifuna, a name Sifuna even in Western, who is, who is Sifuna? Mm. But at the national level, Otende Amolo and Sifuna have a serious constituency, have a serious following of people who believe these are very, very intelligent, serious future leaders. And then, so that constitutes the one I'm talking about, which is Funa and uh, Otienda Amoro, are allowing themselves to lose. Mm. So for Sifuna, he starts in a unique way into leadership of this country. He starts at the top. And once the Luya nation realizes, huh, this, this star there is ours, mm. then they own him. Then, pop, the sky is the limit. The mm. same for Otienda Amoro. Mm. 
Which is what Babu is playing at. You see, Babu is trying to merge the two. Yeah. He has a name at the national level, especially with young people. He has now moved on the ground to create a, a, a following on the ground in Luo Nyanza. Mm. Now to merge with the national thing and Babu will go very far. Take it from me. Mm. And that is the route I thought Sifuna would be intelligent enough to see. So many abductions have been taking place in Kenya. And do all politicians or some politicians who are in power, do they have their own mercenaries? Do you have people that they hire to go and abduct people and even worse, kill people? Just listen to this. Every political leader in the world has a squad of people who kills for him or her. If you didn't know, please know. Namzome history, comparative history, ya dunia. We have presidents in this world who even have schools that kill their enemies from whichever corner of the world they are. Na atakufuata na atakuwa. They will follow you and they kill you. In the name of getting that seat. I want to sit on the right. I want to sit on the left. But she is my block. So, awadolewe, remove her. Removing her includes even killing. That is called selfishness. We can become great, not by breaking others, by actually elevating others. True greatness comes when we elevate others. This is a very serious conversation. So tell us what you think in the comments down below about this, about the abductions, the killings, and the tortures that have been happening. Are our politicians behind it? We have presidents in this world who even have schools that kill their enemies from whichever corner of the world they are, na atakufuata na atakuwa, they will follow you and they kill you. Kenyans, did you know that American rapper 50 Cent came to Kenya 12 years ago under the World Food Program? He went to Kibera. But since that time till date, nothing has changed because of the corruption that took place at that time and the corruption that is currently taking place till today. Just take a look at this. 12 years ago, Octopuzo hosted 50, 50 Cent in Kibera. Jackson wanted to see the fight against hunger firsthand. So in early 2012, he flew to the Horn of Africa to see WFP's work there. He's already part of the fight against hunger because he's donating to WFP money from the sales of a new energy drink called Street King. For every unit sold, he has pledged to donate a meal to a hungry child. I provided 3.5 million meals, but I'm going to do a lot more before I'm done. I'm free. I'm sure for a billion mills, you know, I'm trying to, try to work it out. And I get a chance to influence some of my peers and other young entrepreneurs to do the same thing, so be able to affect things in a major way. During his trip, Jackson went to a school in a Nairobi slum where WFP provides meals every day. He met children, many of them orphans, and saw how their daily meal was cooked. This nutritious lunch helps them to concentrate in class. And for many of these children, it may be the only meal they get in the day. I'm just excited. To be able to, to have an organization that actually is reaching the people, it's really important for me, like my project, and this is confirmation of that. Jackson clearly enjoyed his time with the kids at the school, and they were clearly charmed by him. So the question of the day is, is a referendum coming to Kenya very soon? Take a look at this video, just listen to it carefully and tell us what you think about it in the comments down below. Looking at a referendum next year, by all means, the way they've taken this impeachment hurriedly, they will take us through the steps of a referendum so quickly, we shall create the post of prime minister properly. I told you. It will be given to Baba <laughs> because AUC is gone, yeah. you'll end Djibouti Kitambo. Uh, and, and that's when now I think things will begin to settle. Mm. Yeah, and Baba that is when campaign 27 campaigns will yeah. begin yeah. after yeah. Baba is. And I know the deputy minister. that William Ruto would have loved if he had his way was mm. Mudavadi. Mm. I usually tell people he's with the deputy you gave him, but he always comes close with the deputy that he loves, Mudavadi, Musalia Mudavadi. This other one is the one that you gave him through the ballot. And me, I see a reincarnation of what was the Pentagon. Only that now Balala replace, is replaced by Joho. Mm -hmm. But Pentagon has come back in its complete sense and the way it was. And uh, Mount Kenya, prepare yourself. It's now you versus Pentagon. Who replaces uh, Joe Nyaga? Who? 
You know, Joe jo Nyaga to... could not have won any seats in Kenya. It's just like Kishungwa. <laughs> Joe Nyaga had a call hanger to go on our DM. So it's the same here. Yeah, there's Kishungwa there. Is it a little Pentagon? No, it's there's Kishungwa. There's Kishungwa there. Uh-huh. There's Kindiki. There's Kindiki. Uh-huh. And then Kuna Bonas Unapewa free. Yeah, Hali. Yeah, Hali. Unapewa Kama free. Kamba. Yeah. Assistant Pentagon member. <laughs> a Kenyan advocate by the name of Ndegwa Njiru, he went to eat his lunch. And at the same time, he also had a message to Kenyan people and also specifically to the president of Kenya, President William Ruto. Just listen to what advocate Ndegwa Njiru had to say. <laughs> So this man deploys a military against people whose only weapon is a hashtag. A couple of people get killed and then he goes on national television to say he has no blood on his hands. Eh. Hey, this is some diabolical shit. I love to put a delinquent. 2027 working campaign here tena. Yo. Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>